Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Today I'll show you how to implement a responsive UI in Streamlit application. Uh, well, uh, Streamlit out-of-the-box UI, it renders very well uh, in a responsive way out-of-the-box. Um, so if you uh, create, for example, Streamlit grid or maybe other uh, Streamlit UI components, if you resize the screen to a smaller one, then those uh, out-of-the-box components, they are resizing properly uh, without any issues. Uh, but I'll, what I'll be talking today uh, about uh, your own components that you add to the screen and when you need to uh, know uh, the screen width uh, and <clears throat> you need to decide in advance uh, how many columns in the form you want to render or if you want to uh, render maybe uh, multiple elements uh, on the same line and so on. And specifically, I'll be talking about <clears throat> dynamically generated form. And based on the uh, vertical space which is available, I want uh, to calculate uh, how many columns uh, should be rendered, like four columns, three, two, or maybe one if uh, we're displaying uh, our application on a mobile device. So let's uh, jump to, <clears throat> to the application. And uh, now I'm recording on the average uh, um, width display, and we got three columns. And now let's play a bit with this application. And if you go to the uh, responsive design mode, um, yeah, uh, we pick this one. And if I refresh the screen, So the application loads, and now uh, the form should be, I think, uh, four columns. Yeah, so we got four columns on this, uh, on this, uh, on this kind of width. Uh, and yeah, if I, I switch to another one, uh, to the uh, narrow UI, slightly more narrow, then uh, the overall screen was resized, but the <clears throat> Streamlit UI was not uh, refreshed. And this is the reason uh, for that is because Streamlit is a server-side framework and I'm using um, a Streamlit JavaScript component to get uh, UI width on the client side. And only next time when we do a refresh, then this information will be sent to the backend and then uh, the, the, the screen will be adjusted accordingly. But I don't think um, this is the big issue uh, in practice because usually uh, if user wants to resize, resize his browser, then uh, he'll need to hit refresh, and uh, then proper UI will be uh, rendered after after the uh, refresh. Like now, we got three columns on this uh, on this suite. And if user opens application on mobile or um, then or on 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 iPad, for example, then they would not uh, resize the screen anyway, and uh, there will be no need to refresh when uh, screen size changes. And in most of the cases in practice, <clears throat> even on the browser, uh, on, on, on a desktop browser, user would load it once and uh, it will stay. Or user can, can, can refresh, that's, that's fine. So now if we make it even more narrow and hit refresh, then now I guess should be the form should get two columns. Yeah, now we've got two columns. And yeah, we can even select one of the elements and then we get uh, this element um, uh, editable, for example, but uh, this is not point of this post, uh, of this post uh, uh, labeling of the documents, right? Now, if uh, I select like uh, uh, iPad maybe and hit refresh now, then on this screen, I guess we got yeah, also to three columns. And if it's iPad Pro, uh, a bit more vertical space, sorry, horizontal space, not vertical. Then, yeah, it's still two. And on this one, let's see, uh, probably, I guess, should be three columns. Yeah, this one, uh, this more horizontal space, so we've got three columns. And then if I uh, check on the phone, and uh, reloaded to be rendered properly here. Then we got uh, image and this uh, one column uh, rendered, uh, one single column because it's a na narrow, narrow screen. Okay, and, and <clears throat> now if we exit from uh, responsive design mode and reload, we get 
uh, UI that uh, with uh, three columns that uh, fits well with uh, current uh, uh, skin width with the available uh, horizontal space. Yeah, and if you look into the actual application, so the first thing uh, in a function where uh, Streamlit uh, script is executing, we, we are using um, a third party Streamlit library called uh, Streamlit JavaScript. I was talking about this library in my previous video, and I'm executing window.innerWidth. Uh, this means on the JavaScript side, where I'm getting actual uh, horizontal space available in the current browser window where Streamlit application runs. And returning this uh, width to the variable, and uh, yeah, whenever browser is, uh, if user will go and resize browser manually, as we saw it during my demo, uh, then uh, uh, because Streamlit is a server side framework, so this call uh, will not be executed until the next uh, uh, request is sent from the browser to the client. Yeah, so th this is the reason why uh, you would need to reload application manually if you resize the screen uh, manually as well. So we've got UI width, and then uh, over here where dynamic form is being generated, we're checking um, uh, current UI uh, width. Uh, let's say if it's very wide, then we render uh, four columns, uh, and otherwise it's a free. Uh, two or one, and there are different functions uh, used to render those this uh, dynamic form on different side of um, uh, horizontal space. So if you, if you take a quick, quick look into the functions, then we'll see render form wide uh, creates uh, four streamlit columns, and <clears throat> uh, we are filling the first column, then second, third, and fourth. And uh, if it's uh, average size. UI then we are using three columns, uh, if it's narrow two, and if you are on the mobile, when uh, horizontal space is limited, it's obviously one column. And by the way, this, uh, this application is using uh, nested columns. Out of the box, um, this functionality is not available in Streamlit. You can render only one layer of columns, and you cannot have uh, another set of columns inside the first layer. But you can work around this by installing uh, another third-party Streamlit component, which is called Streamlit Nested Layout. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, then it works well, and I think it's very uh, practical and useful approach uh, because it helps to uh, leverage uh, properly uh, all the uh, horizontal space that you got uh, in your application, right? And uh, uh, this is especially useful for dynamic forms that uh, I was talking uh, and showing in this application, because otherwise, if you don't know uh, available uh, UI width, then uh, you would not be able to um, decide how many columns you would render. You would render probably a single column, and this would be a, a waste of uh, UI space, and user will need to scroll a lot um, uh, from, from top to bottom to find all the form elements. Uh, in this case, um, you fit more uh, form elements on the same line, and uh, this means that there'll be less scro scrolling for the user, it will be easier to use the application. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.